Did you know that from time to time, God will ask us questions? In fact, in the book of Exodus, we are told that one day the Lord commanded Moses to go and to lead the people of Israel into the promised land. But Moses was afraid that they would not believe him, and therefore he asked for a sign of God's power so that they would listen to him. Then in chapter 4, verse 2, God asked him this question, what's in your hand? You see, to Moses, the shepherd's staff he carried was not just a rod, but for him, it was representing three things. One is identity. By profession, he was a shepherd. People knew him as Jethro's son-in-law, a shepherd who looked after his flock. Number two, his income. His staff was the tool used to make his living. It represented his earning. Number three, his security. As a shepherd, he would from time to time need the staff to protect himself and his flock from wild animals. But you know what? God had another plan for it. Moses' staff was to be used as an instrument for miracles. And as we look through the life of Moses, we discover that the shepherd's cook, which gave him his identity, his income and protection, was to become the rod of God. It would be used to part the Red Sea. It would be an instrumental in the ten plague, and it would bring water out of the rock and much more. Throughout Bible days, God, the amazing creator, had many ways in using whatever a person possessed, if only they would simply yield it to him. Here are some biblical examples of some of the items that God used. In Exodus chapter 15, Elisha raised an axe edge from the river Jordan with a simple stick. In 2 Kings chapter 2, Elisha's court parted the river Jordan. In 1 Samuel 17, David uses a sling to kill the giant. In Judges 15, Gedeon used a jawbone to kill 1,000 men in one sweep. And in Genesis chapter 17 and 20, God provided fresh water to the thirsty nations. And when we move into the New Testament, Matthew chapter 14, God uses a little boy lunch to feed 5,000 men plus the women and children. Our almighty creator of the universe is able to use any ordinary object if it is yield to him in faith. Right now, you may need a miracle in your life. Well, here is God's question to you. What's in your hand? Just the same question that he asked Moses. Do you know, each one of us only need to examine what we personally have. It doesn't have to be anything grand or majestic, just simply what we have. Because whatever we have, it's good enough for God to use it for something miraculous. God bless you.